Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RJ Runner, and welcome to my Let's Play of Two Round Two. Possibly the most ball-breaking game I have ever played in my entire life. Uh, yes, I could never get enough of it when I was younger. It was such a brilliant game to play, yet so hard I could never pass it. So I spent my days mucking about in the craft manner. Trying to glitch my way out of the walls and shit like that. <sighs> but that never came to flourishing because I did not have the internet back then and there were no such thing as uh, YouTube videos in which you could just look up all these said glitches. Anyway, I, dig I digress. Oh my god, bad kitty! Bad kitty! Bad kitty, this is bad kitty! Stab it, kitty! Kitty, stab it! Yeah! There we go, you're dead now. Rest in pieces. And in case anyone who may be or may not be watching this, yes, I am using an ISO. And I don't give a crap whether it's piracy or not because I've went through five physical copies, well, f at least five physical copies of this last one I bought. I bought it when I was on holidays in Wales. And I've no idea where it disappeared to since. So I think that justifies me downloading this game. From uh, what was that? EMU Paradise or Romulation, one, one of those uh, ISO websites. Either way, nobody really gives a crap about PS1 piracy. Except for that one guy who tore shreds off me when I asked him for help in running the European version of, of, of Tomb Raider 2. The American version worked fine, but I don't know, there was just something about the main menu uh -huh. and a different font um, in the Tomb Raider logo that I, that I liked in the European version. As I said, he tore shreds off me. That, that was one of the worst people in the world for pirating such a game. Really, come on, calm the hell down. It was only a PS, it's only a PS1 game. I doubt Sony are, are going to go into a huge financial deficit over it. Well, not Sony, but um, well, yes, Sony and uh, Adios Interactive, who published the game. I doubt that they give a crap. And if they do, and if they do, what's the worst they're going to do? They're just going to uh, put a copyright claim on it, so I can't monetize it. And if that happens, oh, oh well, no skin off my knuckles. YouTube game ain't all about money, it's just about having fun, and I like having fun with games like this. In fact, I actually hope to continue the series, because there's been a lot of series that I just couldn't continue, that I just lost interest in. Namely, Bioshock, Dead Space, and the Harry Potter series. Oh yeah, and One Piece. Not that I don't like the games, it's just... Uh, they're not commentary, well, they're not my type of commentary material. I prefer games like this. Simple games which I can actually relate to. Uh oh. Here's trouble. Get away from me, you silly gun. No, 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 no. No, bad birdie, bad. No, birdie is bad birdie. Birdie, stop. Yeah, that's a I fly away. Fly away and die. Okay, now just watch this for a bit of 360 MLG no scope laser action. Whee! Oh, oh. What mark did I get? What mark did I get? 10, 10. I'd say that was a perfect 10. Jaw would make it more perfect if you just got her ass in this little tunnel. Her nice square pixelated ass. That booty do. Booty 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 booty. Show me that booty, I see the booty. <gasps> do not claw me to death. I am but a human being. Skillage right there, skillage in the village. You ain't seen such skill, have you? Uh oh. 
damn it. Fucking hell. There's a bit of an input delay there. Did I get it? No, I didn't. I can still hear him constantly about. Oh! Fuck you, Laura, when you just kicked your ass up there. Holy crap, did I really take that much damage? Jeez, well. Wow. Okay, I'm all better now. Now, if you'd stop falling the fuck in. Okay, now I got your ass up there. You have to be pixel perfect with everything in this game. That's one thing that, that annoyed me when I was younger. You had to be absolutely perfect. Okay, into the spider room we go. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, I've played this game recently enough, and by recently enough, I I mean about three or four years ago, whenever I had my last physical copy of the game. But I didn't get too far in it. I already got up to Venice and that was it, so I don't have much faith in myself getting too far without having to look up a guide or having to result, uh, resort to uh, the good cheat codes. That's another thing we didn't have. Well, that's another thing I didn't have. Seeing as I didn't have the internet, I couldn't look up cheat codes to uh, you know, get infinite health, more health packs and more ammo. You know, I didn't get. I mean, I didn't get the get to use the internet or get get internet in my house until I was about. Oh bloody hell! I think it was about eight or nine, and that was about. Huge in and two ish two thousand three, and by that time most homes, well, in most homes in towns and no. cities had. Excuse me. The fuck you say to me? Give me a bit of cheek, there, woman. No. No. Oh, okay. My, my imagination. Ah, oh, yeah, I didn't collect the key. The key's up here. Anyway, as I was saying, most homes back in 2002, except if you're living in the countryside, had broadband. We didn't even get broadband until four or five years ago, which was kind of sad, really. Well, proper broadband. We, we had mobile broadband, but that sucked. Speaking of which, uh -huh. I was quite quite shocked recently um, to find out that uh, we'll be getting fiber optic broadband now at the end of the year back in my home home because I'm recording this from college. Oh there go my legs! Shit I forgot about that. Yes, I was just uh, looking into it over the weekend. Looked up the old fiber map and I saw my area would be getting it at the end of between October and December of this year, so that should be good. I mean, when I go home for the Christmas holidays or, or the October breaks, I'll be able to upload faster, finally, because I've said this before, on the standard broadband, we only have about uh, 0.30 kilobits upload, and it, it takes about half a day, about half a day, 13 hours to upload a video that could be about 900 megabytes in size, and that is an insane amount of time to be waiting. Absolutely insane. Actually, I had a right rip into uh, my internet service provider, and all he had to say, say was, uh -huh. 
Well, we could uh, decrease the time by using the uh, et Ethernet. Would uh, decrease it by about for ten minutes. To which I replied, "Yeah, I'm already using the freaking et Ethernet cable because et Ethernet, as we all know, is uh, vastly superior to Wi-Fi, especially if you're uploading content." But ten minutes, knocking off ten minutes from 13 hours, what are they freaking serious? And going back to the game, I see something up here, something of interest. Could it be? That's something I never noticed as a kid. There's a, there's a ledge up here. This is my first time seeing it. Because normally what I do when I was coming through this area, I'll just walk through the blades and accept whatever punishment came my way. Jeez, wow, that, that is something. It kind of goes to show, show you how much of a dumbass I was. Something should happen to me. Should I die? Don't. At least I'll have some, some place to come back to because there is no autosave feature in this. There are no checkpoints. This game was absolutely cruel and merciless when it came to that shit. We fucked up somewhere and we didn't save. Well, tough tits. <gasps> Speaking of fucking up. Surprised my kneecaps are still in one piece. Oh yeah, oh yeah, not the blades, not the blades, not the blades. Oops, boss fruit. Like I said, you have to be pixel perfect when it comes to picking up stuff like that. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, my legs are gonna break, my legs are gonna break. Oh god, that was close. <gasps> oh my god. I'm doing so crap right now. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh god, I love these pricks. Okay, I think they're all gone. Good. Oh, hell no! Back. Oh, Jesus Christ! Back up! Back up, back up, back up! There we go. You don't have any friends here, do you? No, no. Okay. Gotta use my health pack. There we go. And there's no secrets around here, is there? No? Seems too quiet. Too quiet indeed. And nope, this thing was just put here to mess with my brain. Oh well, through the mysterious door we go. Jesus, such violence! Yeah, leave me alone. I be but a poor girl. Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> With a tommy gun on my keyring. But what about anymore. the map? So after you. Somehow, you don't behave like you got the monk's blood. 
I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be indebted with your life. These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then the dagger's blade will honor the hearts of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. And which one is that? To the sins and fortunes of Marco Bartoli. Marco Bartoli? Jeez, what a name. Perhaps not just yet, then. Uh, Laura, where did you disappear to? Jeez, oh, fucking pulling off some instant transmission uh -huh. shit. Gianni Bartelli, Via Caravelli, Venice. Okay, so we're going to Venice in the next episode. So I will just leave it here then. Anyway, you know what to do. If you like this video, be sure to slap it a like button in the face. And guys, I will see you in the next one. So until then, see ya.